Felice, the dabbling speechy, and I am here tonight chillaxing in my PJs, sipping on my coffee, and my husband's doing his school homework, so I thought this was a good time to check in with you and share some of my tricks and tips that I use for teaching prepositions. So my first trick or my first tip is how to teach before and after and I really would like to hear what you all do because I still feel like that is a really hard concept for me um, to explain to young kids with language impairments. So this is one thing that I found that has worked. So I have my kids sketch out what they do in the morning or what they do during the school day. And so here, and it doesn't have to be pretty, obviously I can't draw. Um, here we have the person getting up, then they eat their breakfast, then they get dressed, then they brush their teeth, and then they say goodbye. And so then we talk about what before means, how something has to happen first. So before I can eat cereal, I have to wake up or before I brush my teeth, I have to get dressed. And then we talk about what happens after, so that it ha something happens next or second. So after I eat my breakfast or my cereal, I can get dressed. And I find that this is a very good visual aid. It's easy prep. I don't have to really prep anything. And the kids like it because it's about them and their life and their schedule and it also teaches them kind of like time management or think you know executive functioning of what their day is supposed to look like and what they're supposed to do next and then we bridge that into following directions with before and after like touch your nose before you clap your hands three times so this is kind of a pre-teaching lesson um, and then I have some other fun stuff that I do with my little guys and with as a warm-up lesson. Alrighty, so I'm here to show you how I use some things with prepositions. And so one of the things that I use is I made this very cute doghouse out of cardboard and my son helped me decorate it. And I will literally just take animals or a dog and we practice putting the dog above or in the doghouse or next to. So we work on prepositions with different um, objects in, in my speech room. I also got this from the dollar store and I'll fill it with scrap paper or tissues and we have to take them out and then we have to put them in and we also practice putting them next to and front behind. Um, I have this handy dandy thing. I just use index cards and I wrote different prepositions on them and put a little key ring. And I've been using this for some of my older kids that we were going to be transitioning into identifying prepositions and writing, using them in sentences orally, and trying to get them to also make more complex sentences. So we did this as more of a warm up. So the kids each take turns and they get to pick a word and they're not supposed to tell anybody and we basically play preposition charades and then they have to go demonstrate middle or in back of and we all have to try to guess to see what preposition they are acting out and the kids really liked it I do it as a warm-up um, right before we start doing other things because their bodies don't get all wiggly and then I use my preposition or my prepositions my possessives fun deck. There it goes. Right there. And I have a couple other decks that I use sometimes. But I love my post-its. It's great for go going. Quickly grab and go. Sorry, it's the end of the day, so my words are all fumbly. And I had some out. And now I'm all out of whack here. So, I could do the mechanic has a toolbox. And so once my kids start mastering the, the basic sentence structure, then I add in a new post-it to make their sentences longer. And it's a quick visual cue. I'm sure I could have more picture choices if I had time, but this is like when I'm in a pinch and I can't make something. Um, so it would be the car mechanic has a toolbox on the shelf. And that just serves as a nice visual so I'm not prompting them all the time. And then what I love is I just grab all of my post-its and then stick them on front, on the 
see I'm all fumbly stick them on the front and then I put them away in the next session I don't have to worry about prepping visuals so that's how I do those prepositions and I will show you guys maybe some more ideas if I can think of them so I hope you enjoyed my tips and tricks and I hope you also enjoy the blog hop and are learning lots of fun ideas for therapy I know we're all heading into the crazy IEP season and so my thoughts and prayers are with you during this time because I already feel like I'm going a little nuts with paperwork so anyways I will see you later bye